Your Show All Belong to Us. Hello and welcome to All Your Show All Belong to Us, home of the Viewers Review. I'm your host, Pharaoh Wizard 16. And I'm Eyes Epic Blue. And today we're going to take a look at our first impressions of Darksiders 2. Since this is just a first impressions video, if you want to get in on our full review of the game, be sure to send us your review at allyourshow at gmail.com, or you can record your own review and be sure to email us the video link. The concept of the Darksiders series is that you play one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. In the first one, you play as war. In Darksiders 2, you play as death, trying to prove the innocence of your brother war after what happened in the first game. Making games based on the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse is a very clever idea. For one, you know there's going to be four games. For another, it takes something of an overused cliche and make it seem original. We also think it would be really cool that after all four games are made, they did a fifth game where they all come together, kind of like what they did with the Avengers. And that's assuming that the games were directed by Joss Whedon. The concept so far gets four stone bites. Death is a very dark and gloomy character, so it makes sense to make him look dark and gloomy. While they do a really good job of this, I halfway expect him to like whip out this guitar and do a heavy metal rift. <laughs> no, no, that's not heavy metal. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> is it just me, or does Death seriously look like Mick Tonson from Slipknot? You know, if he was drawn by the artist from World of Warcraft. Other than that, the artwork is pretty detailed and the animation is pretty clean. The visuals get three stone bites. Going along with Death's image, I'd imagine that they'd go with a very heavy metal kind of music. But instead they went a different route. Personally, I say, good choice. The music is so incredible and is seriously one of my favorite aspects of this game. I knew the moment I started to play, the score was going to be amazing and it hasn't disappointed. The sound effects are nothing really impressive, but they don't really sound canned either. But the music alone is enough to get five stone bites. First off, let's just say that if you love Zelda and Metroid Prime, you are going to love this game. You have a few large maps to navigate by jumping and climbing and grappling and other maneuvers so that you get chests or you find a big bad guy. Which you probably woke up in the first place. That you're now supposed to kill. Good job. You know, Darksiders 2 really loves puzzles. Just like someone who loves something a lot. The level designer must have said, let there be a puzzle in every room. Not because the puzzles are hard. I mean, you know, they're not. It just feels like the majority of the gameplay is solving puzzles instead of lots of action. I would definitely consider this game a hack and slash. If you don't know what that is, no, it's not horror genre gameplay. It just means that when you get into a fight, all you have to do is button mash and you'll make it out. And it looks like that every single time. The most annoying aspect of the game is that on a lot of occasions, you're going to find yourself lost and not knowing what to do or where to go. Fortunately, you have a crow to help you out. Unfortunately, the bird is stupid and rarely helps you out. Hey bird, where do I need to go? Oh, through that door? Great. Now how do I freaking open it? We give the gameplay three stone bites. The story so far is just prove war is innocent. Outside of that, you're just solving everyone else's problems. Like, I lost my hammer in this cave and I don't know where to find it. Did you try looking in the massive chest in the center of the raised platform in the middle of the main room? Oh, what do you know? There it was. Until we get a little bit more of the story, it gets an average three stone bites. You know, really, once we finish playing the game, we, we don't plan on replaying it again. You know, if it's still laying around, you know, pop it in and play it again just cuz. But chances are, I'd just trade it in. To all your base, click here for Facebook. As soon as I was done playing it. Replay value gets two stone bites. 
With that, we have a combined score of 20 out of 30 stone bites. Now these scores are subject to change, as this is the first look into Darksiders 2. And once again, if you want to get on the full review, be sure to send us your review either in written form or you can videotape yourself, you know, kind of like this, telling us about your review of the game. Well, that's it for this episode. Go ahead and subscribe. And if you subscribe, we'll send you a coupon for all your base for 20% back on your trade-ins and 20% off your next used game purchase. Be sure to check out All Your Bases' Facebook page. Be sure to also follow me on Twitter. And me on Twitter. Click here to check out the next videos we're going to be reviewing. And until then, I'm Fairwizard16. And I'm Eyes Epic Blue. And you can't stop the bum rush. And you must never hesitate.